Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, July 8, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from 1 John chapter 2, reading from verse 3 to 6. And it says, And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keep it not his commandments, is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith, ye abide in him, ought himself also to walk, even as he walked. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy words. And the word of God this morning is clear to us. As it tells us that those of us who are of God, those of us who are walking with God or claim to be walking with God, we must keep his commandments. So God's commandments, they testify of who he is. Do you understand? It says that when we keep the commandment of God, we are basically saying that we love God and that we know God. So it therefore means if we are not keeping the commandments of God, we do not know him. And also we are a liar. And it says that the truth is not in us. So we can see here how important God's commandments are. And I know the concept is that God's commandments are null and void and that they have been nailed to the cross and all kind of story and scenarios. But the word of God tells us that God's commandments, they are perfect and they stand forever. Now, it says that whosoever, so those of us, who keep God's word, then we will see the love of God being manifested in us. And because God is perfect, then that perfection, which is of God, eventually will start to filter down in our lives. Because what? We are now walking in the status of God. We are now keeping his words. We are living in accordance with his will. And so that perfection that we must all strive for eventually will be manifested in us or start to manifest itself in us because what? We are keeping the commandments. Now, if you and I say that we are in Christ, we are walking with Christ, then we must examine what does it mean to walk with Christ? Who and what Christ represents what are the characteristics of christ because if we are walking with him we must be able to identify him in character in other words when folks look at us they should be able to see the character of christ being manifested in us so it means therefore that we would love one another we would be kind to one another we would not practice evil against each other we will live righteously we will look out for each other and we will walk just the way that jesus walked and so being a friend of god means that we will represent him in our daily lives and in our character and if we fail to do that if we are not doing that if we are not keeping his commandments if we are not keeping his words if we are of the belief that his commandments they are not important or they are done away with it therefore means that we do not wish to be identified with god because god's commandments is the very identity of god's law and god's supreme authority it's because the commandments of god they teach us that we must do what show love and respect and allegiance to god and it also tells us that 
we must love one another. So if we are not showing love to God and we are not showing love towards each other, then we are not keeping the commandments of God because the commandment is basically separate in two. First part speaks to the love for God and then the second speaks to the love for man. I hope we can see that. You can go and check it out, Exodus 20. So God commandments and God's law, they are perfect and they need no modification. All they need is our compliance. And so this morning, I pray that we will be obedient to the Lord commandments, that we will keep his status, that we will live by them. And so that when others see us, they will see Christ in us and we will not be called a liar because we would have been keeping God's word to its fullest. May God continue to bless and keep us as we seek to be faithful in Jesus' name. Amen.